guys, so in this uh, video tutorial we're just going to continue on uh, working on the start of County Down. We're going to take a look at the second line. But we're actually going to begin um, on the last two notes of line one. So we're going to play the last two notes of line one and the first bar of line two just to begin. Now you'll see if, um, if you're comparing uh, some of the bars the last two notes of line one and the first bar of line two are just the same as the very beginning of the song, the pickup bar and bar one at the very beginning. So we're not going to spend a lot of time um, on that for that reason because we've already basically covered it. Um, so um, the last two notes of line one and the first bar of line two, if we're clapping them out, uh, goes like this, four and one, two, three, four and. Do it again, four and one, two, three, four and. And that second note that I just clapped out, which is the very last note on line one is that semi quiver, it's only lasting a quarter of a beat. So as I think we've already said in the last trial, that semi quiver will sound as if it's being played very closely to the next note that you're playing. So um, I'll just play the that for you. So I'm playing the last two notes of line one and the, the first bar of line two, so it goes. Okay, um, then the second bar of line two is just the same as bar two on, on line one. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll go through that quite quickly. So what we'll actually do now is we'll take a look at bars two and three. Bars two and three of line two, okay. So um, bar two go, um, of line two goes like this. One, two, three, four, ah. One, two, three, four, ah. Okay. And then uh, bar three um, goes like this. One, two, and three, four. Because you have a crotchet, two quavers, and a crotchet, and a crotchet. So bar three goes like this. One, two, and three, four. So if I was playing um, bars two and three of line two, it claps out like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, and three, four. I'll do it again. Then you might want to try and uh, clap along with me and maybe just rewind this a few times uh, just until you get the, the rhythm of this correct. So after four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, Two and three, four. So have a go at that. I'll play it for you. So this is bars two and three. Okay, so that's bars two and three. So have a go at that. So what I'm now going to do is just play the last two notes of line one and the first three bars of line two, just so you get an idea of how it sounds, okay? So after three, one, two, three. Okay, so what we're now going to do is just take a look at the last bar um, of line two, and again, the first note has a minimum, and then it's followed by a rest. And we're not gonna worry about the very last note. We're just gonna leave that for the time being. We're just gonna play the first the first note and the rest. So the first note the first note's a minimum, it's an E note, so it's on the second fret of the fourth string, um, as you'll see from your tablature. And you go one, two, and then rest on the third beat. So it's one, two, rest. One, two, rest. So playing um the last two notes of line one and then what we've learned so far it goes like this I'm going to play it really slowly for you um, after three you might want to try and play along so one two three Um, 
let's uh, let's do the first two lines, okay? Excluding the last note on line two. So after three, one, two, three. Okay, so that's um, all of uh, nearly all of lines one and two, and um, we're going to talk a little bit about um, just some of the technique that you can use in terms of your using your pick. As you'll see um, in this piece that we have some quavers, so we've got notes that last half a beat each, so quite quick notes, and we also have dotted quavers that are followed by a semi quiver, that really quick note that we've been talking about um, in the last few tutorials. So there's some, basically there's some really quick notes that you need to play. Normally, um, when you're using your pick, you can just um, use a downward motion to play your to play your notes. So you, you know, if I play bar number one, for example, it's, you know, it's using just all down. You can see there with my hand, I'm just, just uh, going downwards all the time. But what you can do to make those quicker notes, for example, those quavers easier to play, is you can use a thing called alternate picking. So what you can do is you can go down on your first quaver and up on your second quaver. So for example, if I was to play bar number one, I go down, 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 up, down, down. Again, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So you see, I went down, up on the quavers. Okay, you even try to do that. You might even want to try and do that on your semi quiver and your sorry, your dotted quiver and your semi quiver. So anywhere where you feel that you're sort of playing quavers and playing slightly quicker notes, you can use that alternate picking. A great way of practicing your alternate picking is to use your scales. So for example, if I was playing the C major scale, and as I'm using my pick, I go down on the first note, up on the second, down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's all in this hand, okay? So I'm going down with my picking hand, the one that I'm waving at the minute, hello. Uh, I'm going down, and then I'm going up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now I'm exaggerating the movement just so you can see what I'm doing. But in essence, if I was to play it, that's sort of more like the way it would be. So you're just alternating the direction of your pick. So use your skills to practice um, this alternate picking and it means that when you come to playing sort of quicker notes like your quavers and semi quavers you can use this alternate picking to make it a bit easier so well done we've got halfway through uh, this tutorial and um, I'll see you in the next lesson and hopefully we'll get um, line number three out of the way